Introduction. I'm trying a different background here just to test it out. So if it doesn't work, it's gonna kind of be like weird and ugly and possibly just a green background. <laughs> anyway, so I just want to do a little bit of introduction for today's video. I am still working on recovering from my binge eating disorder. I am seeking to start therapy again with, I'm looking for a therapist who's um, experienced with dealing with binge eating disorder specifically. So I'm working on that, getting a consultation with that. Um, also, I've decided to just take things step by step. We start with aiming to be binge free day by day. Take it day by day and each day my goal will just be to be able to have a binge free day. Will I always succeed? I don't know, I'm going to try, but it's, it's very, very hard to overcome this type of thing. So um, I'm gonna do my best, but I'm going to document the highs and lows regardless. And it is my channel, it is my life. Uh, so the different stages of it, I'm gonna be sharing what I feel comfortable sharing. This. Yes, I've been here a million times. Sometimes it takes people years and years to heal. Um, not everyone heals the same. I think that it's important to, to share this journey. It does also help with support as well uh, that I get from my loyal beezers and my viewers. And I like that, you know? I know there's a lot of negativity, which a lot of people think could be a hindrance to my progress, but I think that I feel comfortable as long as, you know, I do things on my terms on my channel and I just make it a more comfortable space for me, like, you know, deleting a lot of neg negativity and just focusing on the positive side of um, my YouTube following. A lot of the um, resources and the therapy will be online, online based. I've been learning a technique that I can talk to you guys about another time. Um, I want to give it more of a go, but it's basically I've been rereading re -reading the, um, the Binge Code, which is actually a really good book for somebody who's overcome their binge eating disorder. And they have some techniques in there that, that I find helpful. I have to be more aware of my condition, my triggers and be more responsibility for my mental health and my overall health. I will show you guys uh, now basically what I had. Now, I am still eating the meal kits. I'm not gonna call them diet box because I hate that word, but I'm gonna call it meal kits. So I am still eating them, but what I've done is I've incorporated um, substitution, not substitutions, but uh, supplemental foods. So, you know, for example, with the salads, I'll add some cheese, maybe some extra veg, or I'll add some extra veg, I'll, uh, you know, if I'm really hungry, uh, and to prevent a binge, binge, maybe I'll microwave a potato and uh, add some cheese on it, or, um, so I have the diet, so I have the milk kits and I also have some supplemental food. And I think a huge factor in the success of not binging yesterday was eating enough food and eating more on a schedule and eating every few hours. I don't let myself get to a level five of hunger. I have like a hunger scale. I let myself get to like a three and then I need to eat something. And it has to be something kind of satisfying. Not as, I'm trying to make it like nutritious food because I find, um, I did read also in the binge code that if your body is lacking nutrition, it's gonna keep being hungry because it's trying to get the nutrients. It's trying to get you to eat those nutrients it's missing. So I'm trying to get the so yeah, so let's get to, I'm gonna show you guys specifically some things I have in my kitchen and fridge uh, right now. And then I'm gonna go into what I ate on my successful first day of being binge free. So thank you for following along and let's get to all right guys so i'm going to show you some things i have in my kitchen that i'm going to supplement my meal kits with for when i'm hungry and for some extra food to prevent binges one thing popcorn with butter and a bit of salt i call this volume food very filling and healthy full of fiber and lowering calories I have some granola granola i find very satisfying for like a sweet tooth thing kind of desserty and i like that with yogurt and berries so speaking of yogurt i have these they're full fat because they'll keep me satiated longer plain sugar-free yogurt and i have some strawberry defrosting in this glass now so that i can add them to it that's just milk I have some grape leaves I put in containers here, some wheat toast for a toast. Eggs, we have so many eggs because even though I'm not the hugest fan, they are very satisfying with protein and fats. And um, yeah, I have this like partly skin mozzarella to like a lot of things. Um, salads, for example, because it gives you that extra protein and keeps you uh, fuller longer. Here I have some potatoes. I love potatoes, they're so filling, they're full of fiber and vitamin C. And I have a lot of onions and garlic for flavor and stuff. And some bananas, which have to be ripened, but I just got them, so. Banana with peanut butter, the best thing ever. I also have some crinkle cut fries to put in the air fryer when I'm having like a fast food craving and some broccoli. I love broccoli with cheese on a potato. It's so satiating and so delicious. What you're seeing is the curd being separated from the whey. I'm making paneer, I'm experimenting. Once I get the recipe down pat, I'll do a video or maybe a live. So far, so good though. So those are just a few things I'm gonna use as snacks and supplements for my meal kit. And then I think it'll be perfect. All right, so let's get to what I had to eat. All right, so for breakfast, I'm having a breakfast sandwich provided by my meal kit. It was actually quite delicious. It has a like multi-grain roll that was actually really fresh and soft. And has mortadella, eggs, and cheese on the inside. And these uh, on the side are some chili, garlic, frozen tater tots in the air fryer. And I'm having a glass of mango pineapple juice. And uh, here's a little inside uh, view of the sandwich. I would definitely give it a thumbs up. I found it to be very satiating and delicious. And then after breakfast, I took my medications. The Advil is for my back pain. Simicort is for my asthma. And the Cyprolex is for um, my mental health conditions. All right, so I'm going to have my lunch from my diet box. And as you can see, I'm just supplementing some things. Um, I have a little water. So this is the salad that came with this. It looks like some kind of green, maybe spinach, and pomegranate with some vinaigrette. I added some mozzarella cheese. And this is a chicken penne with tomato sauce dish, and I added some Parmesan cheese. Not as much as I usually do, but yeah, so let's eat. All right, so for a snack, I'm gonna have two grape leaves, this little packet of nacho cheese tortilla chips, and a glass of Coke. Usually I just drink almost the whole bottle in one sitting. At least half, so I'm just gonna have a glass. All right, so Celebra home this side dish called nachi. It's um, chickpeas in like uh, water and salt, cooked in water and salt, and it's just a very popular snack here. So I'm gonna try some of these 
Okay, so here is the dinner from the diet service, uh, meal service, I'll call it. I hate the word diet. So it's a spinach pomegranate salad with, um, I think it's not balsamic, it's like a pomegranate molasses vinaigrette. And some, I think these are chicken coriander meatballs with basmati rice. And the dessert was a piece of moist looking chocolate cake and I added some strawberry on there. Yum, 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 yum. This looks really satisfying. It's just a little bottle of water. I know this is plastic and I could just drink from the bigger bottles, but these make me feel like I'm having like a soda. I like the cute little packaging. And like I said, I'm kind of like weirdly addicted to packaging, food and cute packaging. So I'm gonna drink these for now. Okay, so I'm gonna have, I'm craving some puffak cheesies and I'm going to have only half the bag and give the other half to Salah. So, all right. That was actually satisfying. When I'm craving chocolate bar, I like these little portioned ones instead of a huge one. These feel like you're finishing the food because that's a big thing for me. Like I feel like I have to finish the food. It's a weird compulsion. So this actually helps because I'm finishing it, but it's like portioned out. Hey guys, if you want to see- Fupa, fat upper pubic area. Chubby, it's chubby. Do you have a chubby kitty? Mine's like lopsided.